So today I'm going to be unboxing and just going over some of the basics on the Akaya Pearl scale. Pretty excited about it. A little bit of background. Sarah and I used to be like strictly cured people. It was super convenient. It was really fast. It was easy. I guess those are the things that make something convenient. But Christmas 2017, my brother got Sarah and I an AeroPress. We really didn't have any experience with like homebrewing coffee outside of the Keurig, but we gave it a try and like the next day we put our Keurig in the closet and since then all we've done is use the AeroPress because it's that much better. It tastes so good. But for the better part of the last like year and a half, we both sort of just been eyeballing it and trying to figure out, okay, we put this much water in, we do it this way. We watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to make an AeroPress, but a lot of it had to do with like measuring out your beans and grinding them fresh that day and making sure your water was at a certain temperature. And we didn't really have the tools to measure all those little pieces of the process. So we were just like, yeah, it's about 75 grams of water maybe, I don't know. And then um, slowly over the course of like the last three months or so, I've really sort of gotten into making better coffee more consistently because what we noticed was it's really hit or miss. Like if I'm not measuring out the elements and the steps along the way, like sometimes I'd get a really great fruity juicy cup of coffee and other times I would get like a really bitter burnt tasting cup of coffee. So in an effort to try to like shore that up, I started using this Taylor scale that I got at Target for like $9.99. And it did the job to an extent, but one of the things that was happening was it would just like, it's really slow and it would like, I'd be pouring in water and then it would catch up and it'd be like, oh, you actually poured in like 15 grams more water than you wanted to. So it helped give me some consistency and a little bit of a better sense of like, this is the process I'm trying to follow. But now that I've really sort of honed in some of the other pieces of the equation, like um, grind size and water temperature, this was sort of something that I wanted to shore up as well. So I ordered the Akai Pro. It came today, and I'm really, really excited to open this bad boy up and test it out. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing, and then I'm going to spend some time charging it up, learning how it works, and then give you guys my first hands-on impressions. Should be fun. Nice, solid, little quick start guide here, warranty card, we will look at those later. What a thing of beauty. Caution, do not place hot objects directly on the weighing plate, please use a heat resistant pad under hot objects. This is some pretty intense protective material on that bad boy. Little sticker. The charging cable and the hot pad. All right, so let's take a look at some of this stuff. That's so satisfying. And it's on. How much does your cord weigh? 29 grams. What if I were to add on this little itty bitty sticker? 29.1 grams. What if I blow on it? That's insane. All right, so, um, I have done a little bit of research here and started figuring out how to use the app, which seems really, really cool. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to make my first cup of coffee here. So I'm going to be using some of this SK Coffee Congo. This is of their smooth profile and it has hints of lemon and it's very clean and fresh. I can attest to that. This is a super like, citrusy, juicy coffee, but it's got a super smooth experience. So it's not like overwhelmingly 
sweet on the front end. It's just really balanced, but has a nice lingering sweetness to it. So here is the app and I was able to build out a profile for what I'm gonna be doing here. So we can see I'm gonna be using the AeroPress. I'm not sure this might be blown out on my screen there, but AeroPress, this is SK Congo. My ratio that I like to use for my AeroPress is one to 16. So one part coffee to 16 parts water. Um, I just made a note of the grind size that I prefer for an AeroPress, which would be 19 on a Virtuoso or a Maestro. Um, total time, it's going to be two minutes. And then the temperature that I prefer is 183 degrees and that really gets me the flavor profile that I'm going for. So it's awesome because this has built in intervals for my first pour, my stirring phase, all that stuff will be tracked here through the app. First step, we're gonna measure our beans. That's too much. Fifteen point one looks good. I'm gonna take this, grind it, and I'll be right back. Okay. When I'm making an AeroPress, I do the inverted method. So what I'm going to do is pour my grounds in there. Take this, sort of level it off. Then we will tear that, which I'll, I'll mention, I can tear it on the app as well. So that's pretty, pretty high tech. First step here is gonna be adding in um, water. So when I go through and start this, it's gonna give me three seconds of ready time, seven seconds to pour my first 75 grams of water, uh, 23 seconds to stir, 15 seconds to pour in the second batch of water, and then it's gonna steep until we hit a minute 30. Here goes nothing. So three seconds of ready time. Pour in my 75 grams. Went a little bit over, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my second pour. Kind of rinse off my paddle. Based on my ratio, I'm gonna to wanna to get up to 240 grams of water. Three, two, one. I'm gonna plunge. So I'm gonna be doing this for 30 seconds. My total brew time from start to finish will be two minutes. I always like to give this a second stir just to help bring all the flavors into the full cup of coffee here. Oh yeah, that's really good. And I'm excited to build out different um, profiles for different types of brew methods. So if I want to make a Chemex, I can set up a different coffee card for that brew method so that different check marks are built in along the way. So that's a really cool thing I think is exciting. It's cool just to have a way to save these profiles and know, okay, when I'm doing this type of coffee, this is what I've dialed in and this is what I really like. That's got me super excited because now I feel like I'm at a point with the scale, with my grinder, with my EKG steak kettle where I can control all the different variables of a cup of coffee that I want to make. So it's gonna be really exciting to dial that in and just really hone in on what that best cup of coffee is gonna be for these different brew methods. So that's the video. Major takeaways, I'm turning into a full-fledged coffee snob, but it's because life is just too short for not great coffee, because it's really easy to make. Turns out there's not a whole lot to it. And I know that's really counterintuitive because this whole video is about like measurements and timing and all that stuff, but it's really easy. And like I said, I've been doing this in a non-scientific way for the last year and a half and it's gotten me by. But this is my way of trying to get better and thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions about the Kaya Pearl or anything that we talked about in this video, definitely leave a comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.